Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's reading is going to be all about who has a big crush on you. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dive in and see if we can explore who this person is and also what their feelings are towards you, what their thoughts are about the connection and what it is that's attracting them to you. That's um, what I'm wanting to do today. I actually almost called this reading, What Attracts Your Crush to You. So we just, then I thought I'd keep it a little bit broader. So we're going to dive in and explore those different areas and just see what comes through in this reading. So I've got three decks on the table, as I usually do, with our three crystals. And I'll introduce each of those now and just take as long as you feel you need to see where you're drawn. So for pile one, we have got the beautiful Tarot of Dreams and I have paired that with this little um, Labradorite. I'm not sure if you can see the little flashes in there. They're green on this particular stone, I'm noticing. Sometimes they're blue, but this one, they're very green popping through. So if you're drawn to maybe the Labradorite or the Tarot of Dreams, then you will be pile one. For the second pile, this is a pink calcite, I think. It's not rose quartz. I think it's pink calcite, but if you're drawn to this little pink stone or the beautiful Dreamy Moons Tarot, you will be pile two. So there's that stone and those beautiful backs. And for pile three, the beautiful Tarot of the Holy Spectrum. I actually really love these plain backs myself and this gorgeous little green stone here. So if you were drawn to either of those, or maybe you have your own way of selecting your pile, whatever calls you to your particular pile, just go with what feels right then you'll be pile three. Okay, feel free to pause the video here if you find that helpful. And as always, just taking what resonates, leaving behind anything that doesn't. Nothing should have to be squeezed to fit in. So if a message comes through in this reading and you feel like, kind of sounds like someone I know, but not quite, I'd need to make it fit, then just leave that behind for someone where it does fit for them and um, just take what does slide right into your situation and does resonate for you. And if anything feels at all unsettling in this reading or any reading, it's a really good sign that it either isn't your message or it's not your message right now. So let's just move into our reading now and sending you love as we travel into our messages. See you there. Hey, beautiful pile one. Let's pop your little Labrador, Labradorite over there. We're going to put your oracle cuts here and let's have a look. So we have got the Page of Wands, the Magician, the Page of Coins, the King of Coins, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Okay. So pile one. A couple of things. First of all, you've got a few court cards on the table here. So there may be, because we get the messages through in a very layered way, there may be more than one person crushing on you, pile one. But this reading is going to be about the person who really can't get you off their mind, the person who is thinking about you the most. And I feel like with this page of wands at the top, I actually feel like the layered messages are that these cards also are representing aspects of this person who cannot get you off their mind. So let's have a look here and see what messages we're getting through. Page of wands to me is feeling like um, with these other cards, I'll go into those in a moment, this could be someone who either is literally younger than you or they have a very youthful energy, okay, coming up as a page here, page of wands. 
this will be someone who has an energy of being a go-getter, particularly with the magician appearing here as well. And some of you might know this person through work or study, something to do with, you know, moving ahead career-wise or in a, the practical aspects of life. Because to me, this is someone who's a go-getter, has this youthful kind of energy to them, this I'm going to go after what it is I want. But they're also approaching things very practically and putting in the work in order to move themselves to a more... Uh, the first word coming through to me is powerful, but to in order to move themselves to a more grounded position later on, like they're taking themselves somewhere to get themselves stable, grounded, secure, okay? So you may like literally work with them or you may be able to see them working towards something. So the way that this is coming through for me, and this is just an example, it kind of gives that like apprentice vibe or that vibe of someone who is working their way up, you know, like they're gaining the experience. They're doing the hard yards to because they know that down the track, they're going to get to this place. And I even am getting like a self-employed that they may be working towards something like that. But this uh, king of coins, it's like this is where they want to go and they're putting in the work. And it feels to me like... The way that they present to you, they could be a fire sign, but the way they present is, I'm a person who goes after what I want. They also may have expressed to you or shown you through their actions that they are attracted to you. I always get with the ones, um, and I feel like a lot of, uh, you, I know a lot of you are readers, but will agree that the ones often give that kind of vibe of flirtation and attraction so there could have been something about them showing their attraction to you and being very drawn to this kind of chest pattern on the bottom so maybe there's a little bit of them being giving just a little bit of a you know the game of chess giving a little bit and then not really laying it all out on the table okay let's keep moving with this so you could literally be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo with the Magician card, but I feel like with the Magician appearing here, it's speaking to this person saying, I've got the tools, I know that I can do this, I can make it happen, I can manifest, and not only do I know I can do it, I'm actually doing it, I'm going after it. I see it, I want it, I go after it. That's what this feels like to me. Now with this King of Coins here and the Two of Cups underneath it, it's also giving me very much a vibe. I'm also getting Taurus um, energy with that King of Coins and this combination here. It's also giving me the vibe of someone who not only has their eye on a particular type of um, groundedness or stable position that they're hoping to set themselves up in career-wise, but they may have certain views or ideals about the sort of connection that they want and to me this feels like they place quite a lot of importance on a romantic connection here like they place importance on love now down the center that may not be initially apparent and it, you even have the seven of swords so perhaps at the moment they're in a stage where they're saying i'm building i'm working towards i'm young i'm youthful or i'm at the start or even if they're at a more mature stage of their life, I'm talking about age-wise, um, you know, regardless of where they're at, they may be saying, well, I'm focusing on something and I'm in the early stages. So I'm not quite here where I'm ready to do this. But I feel like there's something about their view to the future where they are looking at a love connection, like it's important to them. It's part of the plan. And there could even be something very traditional about the way that they view love and connections. But we'll have a look at that as we move into it. So we've got the Ten of Cups here under the Magician. To me, this is someone who um, holds family values quite highly. But I'm just going to mention that 
the kind of vibe, I just feel called to say it again, that they're giving off to you may not feel like they're that sort of person. They may give off a kind of vibe that they're all about the play, all about the moment, you know. This could be someone who is different in one environment to another. For a few of you, this person could, um, well, let's just, let's just keep digging a bit deeper here. I want to come over this Ten of Cups because it's kind of throwing me here. Show me where this Ten of Cups is here, Spirit. Part one, why is the Ten of Cups here? And on the bottom. For a few of you, this person could be in some sort of connection or could have had some sort of connection here that they are releasing from and they are trying to let me just have a look here they're trying to uh, like they're starting again like there's this energy of breaking free or moving out of some sort of connection i feel like that's only for a few of you but with that ten of wands in reverse it feels to me like putting down some kind of burdens this is some sort of celebration they could have um be going through some sort of breakup or building up again here with that magician on top too. So maybe where we just talked about a moment ago, regardless of where they're at on their in their stage of life, maybe they feel like they're beginning again. That could have something to do with this, but there will only be a few of you. So take that if and as it connects for you. Let me just come to this Seven of Swords. You will know if that's the case, I feel. It's almost like that could be like a new um, found sense of freedom or something like that. Looking for love again, like starting again. But the Ten of Cups is upright. So that's just got me a little bit uh, confused there. So let me look at the Seven of Swords. Show me the Seven of Swords here, Spirit. Why is the Seven of Swords Yeah, look, um, for those of you who resonated with that message that just came through about this person moving out of some sort of connection or there being something they're still tied to maybe and then wanting to break away from that or move towards you, I feel like there's hope, like they have hope that something could develop between you, but they, the two of you, but they know that that's not going to happen unless they are free to for something to happen here because we've got five of swords it's like the hope that they have with you they may be thinking that let me just have a look on the bottom yeah they'd like something physical but with the seven of swords here i feel like you are you have your ears pricked for what is going on with them? Where are they coming from? Is there any other attachment? Are they free to move forward with this? Not all of them have something that they're moving away from or have moved away from. It could be a matter of you saying, look, have you completely let go of a past relationship? Are you out of a relationship? Some of them, a few, you might even be saying, look, I feel like you're still connected to someone, so I don't want anything. But I feel here maybe there's uh, them showing it attention to you like showing that they're attracted here with the knight of wands coming up feeling like they want something to develop between the two of you but at the moment they're just looking at this sort of attraction energy like they're showing you this physical side of things and i don't know that pile one 
with this five of swords here and even the star card that um <clears throat> they're going to get far unless they can show you that it's about more than just a fling and that they're available here that's what this is starting to feel like here as i pick this apart because this card here feels to me like there could be something that is not not tied up not uh Yeah, I just, I don't know. There's something here about maybe wanting to move forward with this and let it grow, but what's going on over here? There needs to be more information exposed or rushing in maybe, you know, a sense of rushing in, like let's get physical or let's, let's just express our attraction to each other. Show me what pile one is feeling about this person. I think that's probably the best way for me to approach this pile one because your cards are kind of unusual here. And as we go through your oracle cards, I deliberately pulled quite a few different decks today. Yeah, you're waiting to see more information or maybe you're waiting to see their next move. Show me here, show me more. What else for pile one? Show me what else for pile one, please. What else is pile one feeling and thinking about this? So there's definitely physical attraction, pile one. Yeah, you could be conflicted about whether you want this, look, whether um, something is the right thing to do, whether this is the right situation to move forward with like whether you have the full facts maybe you're wondering is this person available if something closed out with them like yeah is this about is this going to lead somewhere like because the energy that i get that they're giving you particularly if this is someone that you just see day to day it's like yeah you know they're interested in you you know they're physically attracted to you but you could be thinking they're playing a game here and it's all about that physical not um you know are you the person here that they have on their radar is this what they're all about there seems to be an aspect of themselves that they're not in at the moment it's like they feel like they're just in this energy of wanting to play it feel, and I don't mean play as in player. I mean an energy as in play as in lighthearted, not wanting to take things too seriously, just wanting to, to take a breather from some sort of responsibility. So it could be someone who's come out of a relationship that felt heavy or that they've had a lot of um, commitments here or a lot of responsibility. The Ten of Cups is upright, which makes me feel like this is like happy home, family. I mean, it could be family of origin, but there's something that they want um, maybe some release from, some downtime around it, you know. They just want to enjoy the moment. Maybe they've got a lot of commitments and responsibilities to people outside of how you know them. And then they're like, yeah, when, when I kick back with pile one or when I spend time with pile one, I'd like something light, lighthearted down the track. I'll be ready for something more. And you could be wondering, hang on, I want more information here. I'm going to wait until I find out more. Is this um, them just wanting something light and then it just ends and fizzles out and becomes nothing? Or are there feelings here? Are there, is there something deeper? So let's have a look and see what's attracting them to you, pile one. Show me. We know it's physical. We can see that. Show me more about their attraction to pile one. Okay. I only want a couple here because I feel like we're going to get more out in the Oracle cards. My whole deck upside down. No, it's not. Okay. You know what it feels to me that a big part of their attraction to you is physical and that when they're with you they can really let go really be themselves let go of um keeping score here here with this six of pentacles it's like it's easy it's easy to be in your company 
Let me just sit with it a bit longer. This feels to me like it just flows. Maybe there's been um, something about there being no expectations between the two of you. It just feels like it flows. It feels natural. It feels very uh, connected here. And I just want to sit with the card for a bit. Getting the name Jennifer coming through. I'm getting Daniel as well. Yeah, look, there is desire here. I feel like a lot of this has been prompted um, through their attraction to you and through, you know, the physical. I feel like that's how it started out for many of you because I'm being drawn to this feather. So perhaps there was a desire to connect with you on a physical basis. Let me just spend a minute with it though. So I'm getting the word swimming. I don't know if there's anything about swimming. Now, how would swimming connect here? So it's interesting because with that word swimming, pile one, I feel like perhaps they're recognizing the physical. This is what they're tapping into. This is what they're um, recognizing. They're going, okay, I can see that pole one's very attractive to me. I'm drawn to them. I see them and I just want to be with them. But with that message just that came through then with the immersion into water, there could be something also about them feeling like you are very open emotionally or something about you allows them to feel, because I've got a very much with these cards up here, a sense of them being able to be themselves and letting their guard down, like just feeling this sense of relaxation and then like being immersed in water. I know water is connected to emotion as you're reading. Uh, that's often what I get through. But there's something perhaps about them feeling like there is not only the opportunity to be themselves, but they feel more connected to their own emotions. I don't necessarily know that they express them. Yeah, I'm getting some confirmation here. So I, yeah, I don't feel that they necessarily express their emotions, but I feel like when they're in your presence, that they sense that they can be themselves and they don't feel judged. So I don't know if there's something around that, that has happened in their past or in past connections or something that they maybe carry with them where they feel like they always have to live up to a potential. Maybe that is even connected here with why this is so important to them to work towards something. Not that there's anything wrong with working towards certain goals, but they may be very, very focused on it. So they feel like you're um, very authentic, very grounded, very non-judgmental. So it's not just about the physical. There is more to it. There's something about the chemistry between the two of you that allows this person to connect in more with their own authentic self. And they may not be able to put that into words, words or express that, but they're sensing the feeling of being around you. And this makes them want to be around you more. So it's like, yeah, I want to be around pile one because, I, I, to be honest with you, I feel like they want to physically connect with you. So that, that's one thing. But underlying that is how it makes them feel being in your presence as well. So there's something deeper there going on I feel for many of them and even the way that I mean the way that he's uh, looking it looks very desirous okay so I do feel that you can see it in their eyes that they want something more with you and you might be wondering is that all it is I have to be honest and say for some of you it could be a matter of them just feeling like you know once I connect with Pile one, I don't know where it would go. I don't feel like they have thought a lot ahead. Like there's not a lot of planning here that I'm seeing, but there's a desire perhaps for a connection 
in the future. So it's like, let's just see what unfolds. Because with these pages here in these Seven of Swords, it gives me the energy of someone that's not really upfront, not really clear about what they want. So they're not really showing you this side of themselves. So for some of you, yes, they will open up. And for others, they could stay in this, um, this energy here. Let's just have a look. We'll get into the oracle cards and see what we get through because we'll get more of a feeling for what. Choose you first. Okay. All right. Choose you first. Show more respect and energy block. All right. So remember a moment ago, Pile 1, I was talking about this person feeling like when they connect with you, it feels very authentic and it opens them up. And with Choose You First, this is making me wonder if some of you have given this person a lot of time, like have listened to them a lot, have made a lot of space for them, have kind of made them feel like this is your arena, like you're, you shine. Like when the two of us are together, maybe they feel a little bit like they're the centre. And if there have been some energy blocks, perhaps that is, um, this is what's opening them up. Like, they're like, well, hang on, let me just sip that for a minute longer. You know what this feels like to me, Pile One? This feels to me that some of you have um, been closed off to this person because they are showing you a lot of physical, um, sending a lot of messages that they are attracted, but it could be putting you off a little bit here with this energy block. I feel like this might be coming from your side now that I'm really just sitting with, with it for a moment. Perhaps what's happening here is you feel like this person is giving me the eye all the time or this person is always making little comments. This person is really not being upfront. They're really not being open. Seven of Swords. I can't see. Is this what they're about? Do they want something more here? Do they just want a fling? And because they're not giving you clear signals about what they want down the track, maybe because they're not clear or maybe because they want to stay in this light energy and they don't want to make any commitment because they feel like that's down the track for them that's in the future then you're the one that's saying okay i'm a bit blocked here i don't know if i want to be open to this person or perhaps they're feeling like there's a bit of an energetic block because of the way they're approaching you because of the way they're approaching you and you're saying you know what i'm just going to put me first and it's not necessarily saying that you're all closed off to them but you want to see more from them you want to see that Perhaps they can also, you know, not just be all about putting themselves first. So if they're going to come at you with an energy of, you know, I'm just always going to be all about me and what my wants are and what my desires are, then perhaps you're saying, well, okay, well, then I need to put myself first and I need to protect myself because I don't want to get hurt here. So there might be a little bit of push and pull going on here, pile one. You wanting them to show more. I don't just get respect. I know it says show respect and some of you could be saying show more respect. But it's like show more of what you truly want. Show more about what this is to you. Show more about what attracts you to me. Like show me more about you, who you are, what you want. Because until then there could be a block between us. So maybe you've known for some time this person is interested. Maybe you've been somewhat open to things developing but because they're coming on um, hot and heavy with the physical you're like hang on a second back off a bit I need uh, to know that it's about more than that or I want to know that it's about more than that and I want to know what's going on over here like what's your situation have you let go of something from the past or are you free to pursue this so Take that if and as it connects for you, pile one. Let's keep moving here. Solitude. Okay. One little person under the tree there. So we're talking about uh, what this person 
really is attracted to with you. And I think it's really interesting with this card here because one of the things, and we just talked about how you may be saying, I'm going to choose myself first and a little bit closed off to them and then we get solitude. So it's making me wonder also if one of the things that is drawing them to you is this kind of vibe that you're in, is this independence, is your strength and your willingness to put up boundaries against anything that's not in your highest interest or anything that you don't feel is really connecting and aligning for you. Even if that means that there's solitude, like it's having that uh, inner strength. And I don't even, I'm not even necessarily getting this through a strength. I'm kind of just getting this through as like a confidence, you know. I don't feel like that person under the tree is going, I have to be so strong and sit under this tree. I feel it more as someone saying, hey, I'm going to go sit under the tree. That would be lovely. Not even considering that there's some sort of rule that you have to be in a pair or you have to be in a group. It's this ability to enjoy their own company. So this could be one of the things that, you know, you're saying to yourself, I'm doing it because I want to be sure what's going on here. I want to understand what energy this person is coming at me with. And you could be a lot clearer on what you want and you might be feeling like they're not sending out clear signals. And for them, they're looking at it and feeling like, wow, that's calling me even more. That makes me want them even more. So the more you pull back, the more they want you. The more they see you in this kind of energy of solitude and confidence to, to reject anything that doesn't align with you rather than than just take something for the sake of being connected or being in a, a in a connection, that calls them more to you. So I feel like that's one of the things that's very attractive to them. We've got reward and breakthrough. Yeah, this person might feel like you're a real challenge here. <laughs> so pile one, I know reward is um, money. But to me, that's just symbolic, okay? So it's like every little bit, perhaps, that they get from you, each conversation, a smile even, it might feel like there's a breakthrough, like this is a challenge. It does feel to me, for some of you in pile one, that this has been going on for a while, that you've known of this person's attraction to you for a while, and that they might feel like, Am I going to have an opportunity with pile one or, you know, am I just hoping? Am I just dreaming? And I don't necessarily get that you closed off. Like I said, I don't get that pile one saying, you know, this person's horrible. I don't want to be with them. I just get that you're saying this person might be giving you some vibes that are not clear. For a few of you, you could be saying this person's not coming through with a mature energy. For others, you're saying, I feel like they're still connected to something or someone. There's not clarity that you're feeling. And so you're not saying, I'm going to jump towards this person or I'm going to be open. If they want openness, they need to come towards you more with this sort of energy, I feel. Like more of this King of Pentacles. Doesn't mean they have to have finished whatever they're working towards but more of a stable energy in terms of connection, in terms of relationship. What have we got here? Message. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. Okay. So perhaps something uh, happened. Just have a look at this picture. So it's like horns. It's reminded me of Capricorn. And I'm not sure if I mentioned signs as we move through. Libra was on the table. Um, Aquarius was on the table. Who else did we have? We had some others under there. I'm sure some of you saw them and can mention them if you want in the comments. Okay, let's have a look at some more messages here. I see you in my dreams. Keep an open mind, perhaps that's what they've asked you, and I miss you. So perhaps there's something about um, them missing you. And isn't it interesting, as I'm picking this up now, I'm thinking about the way that the 
the little um, sparkles in the labradorite they're like speckles and it's making me think of the message that we were just talking about with the hope you know the little bits of hope the glimmers of hope that they may be feeling like the rewards and the breakthroughs so perhaps they feel like there's little bits little speckles of hope that they have with this connection and they've been holding on for quite some time and the more that things don't break through like with big breakthroughs or the more that things don't happen the more that they are drawn here but this one's making me wonder with they want to message you and explain everything to you getting the name sean too but they know they have to do right by you yeah see they know that you're someone that um it's not just about boundaries. They know that you're someone who knows your worth. Okay, so they have to do right by you. You're not going to let them not do right by you. And this is reminding me of a cathedral almost that this person's sitting in. So perhaps in the past, they have been able to uh, charm or behave in ways that get people in. You know, maybe with words, the written word. Or the spoken word but it's almost like a mask here across their eyes you've got those horns and it's like maybe their words it have worked for them in the past with people who are not prepared to be in this energy of solitude or not prepared to stand in their own energy and not be afraid to be on their own you know like they're like yes i enjoy my own company but for you it's it's like my energy will be blocked off unless you come towards me with the right vibe with the right kind of not just words but actions maybe and so yes there's some sort of indication that you've gotten from this person that they're physically attracted i definitely am getting that you would be recognizing who this person is because they would have made it very clear to you that they are attracted, okay? That they are physically attracted to you, that they would like to get physical with you. Some of you may have had some physical interactions with them, although I'm not really seeing that come up here. Some of you may have had that. They do enjoy being around you, being connected to you. They let their guard down in some respect and they feel like they're more connected to their own emotional space. But for them, I feel like they recognize it in a very um, sensual way, in a very physical way, in a very material, um, earthy way. It's like for them, they may be used to expressing themselves through touch, through the physical. And so... They may feel like even if you're sitting down talking like, yeah, this feels great. I'm so attracted to pile one. But there's an aspect of it, perhaps like an undercurrent of the whole thing that is like, you know what? This feels really good because I can be myself. This feels really good because I don't have to put on any airs and graces. And yet still they could be coming in with a little bit of that, a little bit of keeping their guards up or trying to impress or trying to send these little signals to you instead of just showing you authentically i'm interested in you pile one i would like something more i'd like to explore this or if they're not sure exactly where they want this to go just saying to you pile one i'm really attracted to you i'm not sure where it would go but would you be interested in exploring that i don't feel like they come to you in that energy i feel like it's all about the maybe the little hints or the looks or the you know maybe saying how great you look and how attracted they are which is okay that's all well and good if you're open to that but i feel like you're at a point now where you're okay tell me more about where you're really coming from tell me more about who you really are what you really want what's going on here with you in your life and what this means to you what does this connection mean to you like, is it just physical? Is that all it is? Or are you open to something more? So let's have a look at the charms for those who resonate with the charms. Okay. 
yeah look at that so i feel like their heart skips a beat when they see you this is like big attraction and that's what this reading's about big attraction we've got the trumpet there so i was just about to say there could be a connection to one of you playing an instrument it could be that but i also feel like the two of you can be connecting in a place where music is being played as well we've got the cat with a love heart so this cat always reminds me of independence, but there can be a connection to a cat. A wishing well. I feel like this person really uh, is wishing for something more with you. What have we got here that dropped out? The bat, intuition. Maybe you can sense when this person's thinking about you as well, pile one. The apple. No bite taken out of the apple. So it's like they're feeling like it's time or maybe you're feeling like it's time here. We've got the little pram. Prams, of course, can be connected with babies, but also new beginnings. We've got the letter B. We've got Gemini. We've got the PlayStation controller. More music, musical notes. We've got the dragonfly which I feel is like connection to spirit, ancestors, the mirror. So perhaps you are thinking that this person is just thinking of themselves, like looking at their, um, their reflection and thinking about what they want and not considering how this is impacting you. Yeah, first, I feel like if they could have one person, it would be you, Pa One. <laughs> That's what this feels like to me. So let's just tune in here and see what messages we're getting through. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting the movie Titanic. So um, I'm wondering if the names, uh, it was Jack, wasn't it? And what was her name? Rose. It could literally be the name, uh, the movie Titanic that is relevant here. Oh, but we talked about water too, didn't we? In this reading. So there could be something about boats. That movie could be relevant or the names could be relevant. Take it if it connects for you, pile one. Okay, let's just keep going. Did we get dreams? Sorry, pile one. I can't remember if we got dreams in your pile, but perhaps there's something around dreams that is coming through for your pile. Okay. Getting the name Jasper or the stone Jasper. I'm getting Prue, which I feel is short for Prudence. Getting Sue, Penny, Ronald, Pete. I got Pete repeat, so someone might say Pete repeat. Jason, Tina. Tracy, getting um, mo Moxum or Moxie, I'm not sure if that might be an animal name or a place, Wendell, okay, pile one, I'm going to leave that there, when I'm channeling, I try and cut out all of the long pauses between bringing through the different names and messages Otherwise, you'll have to sit with me and I'm sometimes quite slow. So I try to make it a bit easier for you to listen to. So hopefully it comes through okay at your end. But that's what I have for today. And hopefully that is helpful for you. If it was, it would be so um, helpful to me if you could hit that like button. It does help the channel hugely. I'm sending you so much love and I hope I will see you next time. Bye, part one. Okay, beautiful pile two. Let's pop your crystal here. Your oracle cards over there. And let's have a look. First card out, you've got the devil. Okay. The queen of crystals. Such beautiful cards, these ones. The king of cups. And that um, Queen of Crystals is the swords. The crystals are the swords in this deck. The Two 
of stars okay that's our pentacles king of crystals seven of crystals four of wands okay so straight away pile two with that devil at the top this is someone I feel who finds you to be a huge temptation, all right? Because the devil can talk about temptations and really being stuck on something, thinking about something or someone over and over. And with this King of Cups sitting right here underneath the devil card, there could also be something about um, their emotions really being triggered. I feel like when they're around you or when they're thinking about you, I feel like this person is having thoughts of you over and over. So maybe they're going about their day-to-day -day stuff and they're finding that they could be having you come up on their mind, thinking about what's pile two up to or is pile two thinking about me? Because if we look over here as well, we see this matching pair, these uh, the queen and the king, of the same suit so the crystals or the swords suit here so this person might be thinking you and they are a great match a great pair you go together you may or may not be air signs but i feel like perhaps with the air signs being the ones that show have shown up here Perhaps they're thinking that the two of you are on each other's minds, like it's not just them thinking about you. Maybe they're wondering, are you also thinking about them? They may or may not be a Capricorn, or one of you may be, may be a Capricorn with the devil card up there, but, but I feel like with it coming up here, it's speaking to their thoughts of you, the way they see you as a temptation, the way that you're a trigger for them, um, their emotions here. Now, it's interesting with this Seven of Swords here and the Two of Pentacles. This is making me wonder if perhaps there is something around them trying to maintain balance here and not come in too strong or not give away too much about how they're feeling, not, not expose how much they're thinking about you maybe. Some of them might be trying to keep that a little bit quiet or trying to play it a little bit cool, trying to let this just unfold in a little bit of a, let it unfold in a little bit of a natural way. But with the Four of Wands, that makes me feel like this is someone who, I should put that there actually, this makes me feel like it's someone who sees you to as well as with these two cards here, sees you two as really being a great match, like having some sort of deeper connection. We'll look at, as we move through this, what draws them to you, but it feels like there is more to this than just the physical. I'm not saying that there's not physical pull, but it feels to me like they're looking at it as something deeper here, like there's a there are more layers like deeper layers that they seem to be recognizing and with the king of cups perhaps they're trying to maintain some sort of balance i do want to balance in what they show about how deeply they feel sorry i'm getting ahead of myself i'm getting a whole lot coming through at once so that's making me feel like perhaps when they see you, they get very excited or maybe they have a temptation to just rush in, but they try to hold themselves back maybe with this Two of Pentacles. And the other thing that is coming through just for some of you, not for all of you, is there may be something around some of them feeling that they have to compete for your attention, whether that is... Um, compete with somebody else or something else to catch your eye but because there are three court cards here and there is something around these two cards here where this person is trying like they feel perhaps that they can't be direct or they feel perhaps that there is benefit to doing things strategically and maintaining balance so I'm just wondering why it is they feel that things need to be 
strategically managed or balanced here or why they can't come in quickly. So it could be to do with a third person or perhaps a third energy or they feel like they can't come on too strong here. So it just does give me very much a vibe here, pile two, even the way that I'm feeling as I'm reading of them wanting to maybe rush in, maybe just say, this is how I feel. Look, look at this connection between the two of us. Look how nicely the two of us connect. Look at what's here. Can you see it? Can you see it? And maybe some of you can, and maybe some of you um, may not feel it to the same degree, or this might not be your person, depending on what you feel towards them. We haven't explored that yet, but they seem to be looking at it and recognizing that rushing directly in and with um, horns blowing and whistles and everything is not the right way to go about this. So let's have a look. Let's come in over this seven of swords here, have a look and the two of stars and see what that's about. Spirit, can you show me why the seven of swords are here? Why the two of pentacles are here? for our pile two group with their crush. And then we'll have a look at what it is that's calling them to you. I keep being drawn to her dress there. And I'm not sure why it is, but I can see the outline of her legs and the dress. So, and I've never really noticed that before. So perhaps there's something around that. Anyway, we'll come back to that. I did mention that it's not all about physical here, that I do feel that this is someone who is thinking a lot about the deeper aspects of the connection, but it doesn't mean it's nothing about the physical. And there we have this Queen of Swords again. So this person sees you as someone who might be a little bit of a... Uh, the right word for it you carry a very uh like a regal energy is what i'm getting and it's that's not a word i don't think i've ever used in a reading pile two but i'm being once again drawn to her dress and the coloring of both of these uh queen of swords are both wearing this purple dress and i'm being drawn very much to the gold trim here and of course Purple has a long history of being connected to nobility. So this is making me feel like it's something about them, the way that they approach you. They may feel a little bit intimidated or a little bit like they're, they're coming towards someone who in their perception, there may be something around your mind, the way you express yourself, maybe something that's been said between the two of you in the past here. Let me just have a look. We've got the moon, the queen of pentacles, and the four of cups. Hmm, what's on the bottom? I'm getting a message here, and it's not going to resonate with everyone, but... but and the reason I feel that for some of you, you might say, I don't... I don't know if that's true, but then it might, the penny might just sit right with you. I don't even know if that, that's the saying. But this feels to me like for some of them, they may feel that uh, they tried to get your attention in the past and they weren't noticed and they took it as a, I'm not interested. And I don't know that it was necessarily an I'm not interested. They may have been like super subtle or... It might have just been that you were busy or distracted, but for some reason, they have taken it that pile two is not interested or I'd have to work really hard to get pile two's interest. I mean, some of you, they may have approached and you did at the time say you weren't interested and they want to come back in now, later down the track, maybe something's changed, maybe time has passed, something like that and this person wants to see if maybe things have developed between you two or they could have a you know shoot their shot and have a go at getting your interest or seeing if you're interest, interested but for me this almost feels like 
there may have been not been clarity for you and they took it as you're not interested. And so now they're, they're seeing it as like, whoa, pole two has um, this exterior, like this exterior that I have to get past. Now, like I said, for some of you, it literally will be that you have told this person you weren't interested in the past. But for many, I feel that they've just taken it upon themselves to interpret it this way but either way whichever it is this person looks at themselves I feel in this page energy even though here they're saying that we could be a great match we have something they see you in this queen energy and themselves in a page energy regardless of gender that's what I'm getting here this feels like someone who feels intimidated who looks up to you who maybe feels like their chances with you are slim either because they have literally tried to approach you before and felt like you weren't interested for whatever reason or they in their own mind sort of put themselves in front of you and you didn't pick up on it it they they seem to feel you didn't sort of pick up on the clue there and they took it as pile two is not interested so interesting set of cards there let's just keep going here and I want to, well, I'm not going to pull that devil card out. Take those if they connect for you, because I feel for someone listening, they're like, yeah, I get why they feel that, but it's not how I intended it, intended it at the time, or at the time I wasn't interested in a relationship. Let's just have a look at this devil energy, which is I feel, and this king of cups, which is I feel them thinking about you, um, being drawn to you and I want to have a look at what it is that's attracting them to you can you show me spirit what's attracting them to pile two why is it they can't get pile two off their mind why is it this person cannot get pile two off their mind okay so you've got the high priestess six of cups in reverse and temperance okay love those cards there so you're different to anyone they've known in the past, but there's something mysterious about you, I feel, here, Pile 2. And with temperance, you may even have a little bit of an aloof energy, particularly with this Queen of, Sword, um, Queen of Swords coming up twice. I love the Queen of Swords. I think um, Queen of Swords is such a beautiful energy. But in my experience, she can come across as a little bit uh, cold sometimes, and it can be on purpose at times, and I feel like, you know, we can all sometimes benefit from slipping into Queen of Swords mode. But this person, I feel like they love that. You have that ability to shift, you know, to find that balance between when is the time for this and when is the time to be, to be warm. But they don't really understand it. They see it. They see that there are these different aspects of you on the surface, but they don't understand the deeper layers. They see you as someone who's very mysterious. They see you as someone they're very intrigued by they want to understand the deeper layers they know that there are different aspects of you and maybe they have seen you in this energy and maybe they have seen you in a warmer energies like with friends maybe even with them but they don't really um let me just sit with this for a second they don't really have a lot of experience of somebody who's just like you who can move themselves so gracefully from one state of being to another and that it is all very true and natural to who you are so it's not an act like you don't have to move into an act to be this way or to be another way these are all parts of who you are and just different expressions like different ways of being so they see you as very multi-layered, I get. And that's a really interesting message to come through with temperance because it's not usually what I would get. But together with High Priestess, to me, this is someone who um, they're balanced, but they're also able to shift their moods. They're able to move between one state of being and another. And there's something mysterious about that to them. There's more to that that I'm not quite getting. I feel feel like sorry I just I want to make sure that I dig in a little bit more here 
I feel like also with this seven of wands in reverse, this person wants to get to the deeper layers of you and they are fascinated by what it would be like to get to the inner workings, like to understand what you are like, um, what your deeper layers are like, you know, what you're like maybe to know on all different aspects on a more personal basis. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, please. What else is attracting them? With the Six of Cups in reverse, I do feel like they haven't known anyone like you in their past, but they also could have seen um, you change over time with that Six of Cups. There could have been some kind of change for some of you that they've seen happen. Show me what else. Okay, five of cups and justice and ten of cups. So a couple of things that I'm getting through here. First of all, I'm getting pole two, that this person feels you're someone who's very loyal to the people that you love, like family, people that you're very close to, that they see that aspect in you, but they also recognize that you've been through stuff in your life that would have made other people perhaps um, defensive or what is... I made other people defensive or maybe all about themselves, but you still come from a place of being very fair. Like you've maintained some kind of, there was a word and it kind of slipped straight in and straight out. It was connected to these two cards. It almost feels like a wholesome energy. There's something about you that feels very, grounded's not the right word. Wholesome's not quite the right word. There's something about you that feels very, Like you value the right things. That's what it is. You value the right things. And so your connections with people are a priority to you. And even if things have happened in the past, which I feel like this person must have seen you go through something or is aware that you have been through some hard times. And they're thinking, you know what? A lot of other people become very selfish when these things happen. But they have seen you, instead of getting into this kind of energy of defensiveness, you are, you've used it instead of putting these, remember we had those wands before, it was I think the seven of wands in reverse, instead of putting up these boundaries and these barriers, you have got boundaries, but you are able to maintain balance between when to use those boundaries and when to let people in. So it's like, you're still prioritizing relationships. You're still recognizing the beauty of connections, the beauty of people. And that's because of the, uh, do you know what? This is, this feels so beautiful. And now I'm starting to understand why this person had the King of Cups there. They are recognizing that within you, because you, part two, have such a beautiful soul and a beautiful heart that you have not let past hurts make you like a lot of other people that they have known in the past and instead of putting your wands up and having your boundaries up you have used it to um, understand yourself better and to know when your boundaries need to be in place and you still have a deep faith and belief in humanity and in human connection now I know that that is a very unusual message to come through it wasn't really what I was expecting but it came through in a flood then like it just hit me okay you understand truths about humanity and this person they are they're touched by something in you that they're touched by something that they see in you. And I know that when I do these readings, people like to 
see the the physical things that draw them and without doubt this person is physically attracted to you but this is um really deep and i could see that with the swords i could see that with the four of wands that we were talking about something that um was going on here that that felt like there were deeper layers and this is why because you pile two are a group who that have picked the people that have picked this pile have a different approach to a lot of other people around them okay and so you have refused to become hardened you have refused to become jaded and i do believe that most of you coming to this pile have made a conscious choice to not let that happen and to not let yourselves i mean you you can be this queen of swords all right you can stand in your power and you do but you can also um you have an open heart and so you can move between this you i mean not that the queen of swords can't have an open heart but i'm saying you know when to put those boundaries up and this person is trying to understand how do you do that how have you taken all of this stuff that's happened because they know they are aware i'm not sure if they have actually seen it or if they are just picking up on it intuitively i feel like many of them have seen it that you have been through something hard some sort of loss here and you have not let it you have let it change you, but you have not let it change you for the worse. You have let it um, grow you and alchemize into something, um, into a superpower, really, to be honest, because this is something that you don't see all the time. And, you know, I'm, there are different things that attract people. I'm feeling like this person may be, and I'll have a look in a moment, may be quite in tune with their own journey through life to be able to pick up on someone like this you know they're, they're watching the way that you are and they're seeing this depth that is within you and they're wanting to uncover more so let me just pull a couple of cards on them just for those of you who are saying i think i know who it is i feel like you do know for most of you who are here and I feel like after that message that came through, you will absolutely know if this is your pile or not. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords and the Tower. Yeah, look, this is also someone who has been through some stuff as well. We've got the Tower. It could, for a few of you, have been connected to you in some way. Like you may have seen each other go through different things or there may have been some connection here. We've got the Four of Swords. I feel like for them, whatever they went through, they went through some sort of loss. It could have even been like a loss of some abundance that they had in their life, even material. They just had to step back. They didn't know how to alchemize it. And for them, they could be just stepping out into the world and saying, okay, I'm going to step back out. For them, I feel like their armor might be on you know like many people's is but for you this wasn't about armor whatever you have been through one of the things that this person is so drawn to you one of the reasons they're so drawn to you is that you have you're strong without armor you know like you you can wield your sword and you can carry your flame and you can expose your truth here, like the way her chest is exposed and um, be just to yourself and others, despite what's gone on in your life. And you don't have to necessarily explain that to each other because you come from a place of your higher self, but you're connected to your own inner truth. And so this person's picking up on it. I don't know if they'd put it into words. I feel like some of them would. I feel like some of them have like attuned themselves like they have an idea that they didn't bounce back so easily and they look at you and go wow you have done stuff like you have taken taken some experience and um you have taken some experience and grown from it in such an incredible way and what they see in front of them it's amazing them but for others, they may not be able to put it into words. They just sense that there is so much depth to you and an ability to take on. Um, it's not about taking on different things because I don't feel like you go out looking for, you know, problems to solve. It's an ability to flow with 
the different energies that arise throughout your life. So if a, a problem arises, if whatever the need is for you to rise up to it, you are able to do that. And that's one of the things that this person finds absolutely um, intoxicating is what I have to say. So I'm sure we'll get more as we move through the reading. That's an um, unusual message to come through for this type of reading, but it is what it is. On the horizon, okay, assert yourself, set boundaries. Yeah, see, that's we were talking before about this person and their desire to balance and to maybe not come straight forward, like to have this Seven of Swords energy. This kind of, it's a little bit sneaky, all right, but sneaky can also be strategic. So there's something about this person um, perhaps feeling like they're right on that horizon. They're right on that kind of crest of how do I come towards Pole 2? How do I express and assert my interest in them and just how interested I am in them and what I have to offer, like how do we connect? I feel like these two cards are keys here. Like they're wanting to show you perhaps that there is something that they can, some way they can connect with you, like some sort of similarities. Maybe they see in themselves, um, see in you aspects of themselves that, they are working on something around that but with set boundaries i feel like they keep setting boundaries for themselves some of them may be you know boundaries that are good because you know you don't want to rush in and just kind of splash it all out or maybe some of you want them to but for most of them i feel like they are setting so many boundaries for themselves that they're not really expressing a whole lot you might feel like yeah i have an idea they're interested but they keep holding back or they won't really open up you know like they just give you a little bit and then they pull back or they express a bit or they kind of watch from the sidelines so i feel like they're trying to find that balance here they're right on the horizon right on the crest on the edge of finding the balance between asserting their feelings expressing their feelings and the boundaries that they set about how appropriate is it what can i say how much can i express what would pull to be happy for me to say to them, you know, particularly for those of you who resonated with that message of them feeling like they may have to compete against another person or another aspect of your life. Maybe if that's the case, then it's not so easy to just come in and splash it all out because it's not appropriate, okay? You know, if you've got someone else in your life, then it wouldn't be appropriate for them to come in and start saying, hey, Pile 2, I think it's amazing that you do this, this and this, and I'm really attracted to you and I can't stop thinking about you. That might not go down too well with someone else or maybe they feel like it'll scare you off or maybe they feel like they'll be met with this energy, you know, an energy of, well, hang on, I'm not too sure about this. Or for those of them who told themselves that they tried to assert themselves before in some small way, and it didn't get um, recognized or picked up on, perhaps they're telling themselves that's something they need to be worried about, like that would happen again. So I feel like they're on the border of that. So we've got winter here. And for us in the Southern Hemisphere, we are in winter at the moment. Almost, <laughs> I had to think then for a minute. We are almost in winter. But winter can literally be about timing, <coughs> but it may be to do with um, the feeling of being, you know, asleep, being stuck. They even had this four of swords, this card of rest, you know, hibernation, stillness. Everything just goes quiet before spring when everything wake awakens. So maybe this connection is in a period of like winter. Everything feels very still. Everything feels very quiet. Like that, I'm being very drawn to that little mouse there. Maybe they're just listening, waiting for a cue, waiting for a sign, waiting to see some sort of indication that spring's coming. 
I'm also being drawn to the 56 down here. So I don't know if the uh, numbers are relevant, the um, 56, the 5, the 6, the 5th of the 6. I did mention a moment ago that winter is almost here in the Southern Hemisphere. And for us, June, which is the sixth month, is winter time. So maybe the 5th of June, because that's how we write our dates. And the cards, of course, connect for me in ways that I will understand so I can pass the messages on. But the number five or six may be significant to you. Take it if it connects for you. Let's keep going here. Creativity. So this could be something else that's a real key to how they're how they're drawn, like why they're drawn to you, how they see you expressing yourself, or perhaps how they express themselves. But I'm feeling it's more about you. And I'm actually being very drawn to this eye here. And I recognize that not everyone who is watching will wear makeup or decorate their body, you know, maybe with um, tattoo art or um, makeup or whatever, in whatever way. But I feel that there may be a message that one of the things that is attracting them to you is, it could be eyes here because I very much notice her green eye. It doesn't mean your eyes have to be green, but the eyes, I feel. And also there could be something around the way that um, you or you decorate your body, like the the way that you, the flair, you know, like creativity, the way that you put yourself together, like there's something, it's, it's style, it's style, that's what it is, that's the word I'm trying to get out. So whatever that means to you, whether that, you know, means that you have a particular way of expressing yourself through your dress or um, through artwork on your body or through makeup or whatever it is. And I'm not saying that it's all about that, but I feel like it's that self-expression that comes through, that speaks. And also the eyes are about the way that your expression comes out into the world through your physical presence. So this can be about movement as well, I feel, because when we talk about the eyes being the window to the soul, I feel like the key there is the way that your soul shines through, you know, the way that you get your, your inner self showing to the outer world. So something around that. I just got the word yoga too, as I said that. And I know that that's um, an unusual word to get for how, uh, what would attract them. But it could be something around because yoga involves poses often, doesn't it? Well, that's one of the words that's coming to me. So I know that's not all that yoga is about. But yes, there could be something around the way you hold yourself as well. Leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking a leap of faith. I love this card. Look at how this woman is on this um, bit of land that is just suspended. So this could be about trust. I did mention at the beginning that this is someone who I feel is intimidated, who doesn't perhaps feel like they have a lot of confidence in coming towards you, regardless of how they may seem to be, you know, they might seem like they have confidence. I feel like this person looks at you as someone who has, who really understands themselves and really just has this amazing ability to adapt to different situations and also is mysterious to them. So this leap of faith maybe something that they are recognizing. I would need to take a leap of faith. I need to trust in myself. I need to not be fearful. If I really am going to be connected to these emotions that I have for pile two, this attraction that I feel for pile two, then I'm, I'm going to need to really make that decision, not just sit on this fancy. Okay, let's look at some messages. I am heartbroken. Okay. I'm going to put that down here next to those cards that were under there where I talked a little bit about some of them perhaps feeling like they tried to express themselves in the past and feeling like it wasn't noticed. 
Our passion drives me crazy. Remember we talked about this, them thinking that you also are attracted or thinking of them, but maybe not to the same extent. My happiness is you. So look, it's not that I feel like this person doesn't think you are attracted to them. It's just that they might think you have a lot of options or that, you know, they might think, yeah, this, there's a spark, but is it enough? Like, is it enough that pile two would actually be interested in something more with me? Am I at pile two's level? Like, would they really pay attention and sit up and go, wow, they want something more with me? So, you know, it's here. I like this. I, our passion drives me crazy because that makes me feel like perhaps some of you in pile two are feeling the same way. Let's have a look here and just pull a couple of cards on that before we get charms. Wow, Knight of Cups. And there we have it again. Yeah, so maybe at times they're telling themselves, look, I think pile two might be interested. And at other times they're weighing it up, saying, yeah, but are they interested enough? Or are they really interested? Or am I imagining it? So that's what I'm getting for you there, pile two. Lots and lots of attraction, very deep. This person thinks super highly of you is what I'm picking up from these cards. And... There's something pretty uh, mysterious about you in their eyes in terms of the way you have turned some situation around in your life or in terms of the way that you can tap into so many different aspects of yourself and bring them out into the world and that you don't feel the need to put up this kind of to bring out this armor that's what i get you don't feel the need to bring out an armor or some sort of defenses and go right that's it i'm not going to put up with this you just convey that message without the armor you know it's like you have this real queen of swords energy but then you can also stay open to the giving to the people you care about and they somehow see this or know this so let's get some charms I don't feel like I got a whole lot then. Okay, so we've got a mask here. Hmm, that would fit in with what we were getting about them with uh, that seven of swords and that two of pentacles, not exposing everything about how they feel. And look at that, the thong, the casual thong right next to the mask. We've got the bagpipes. That always reminds me of Scotland. The fish, so intuitively I feel like you know that this person is really into you and also, of course, the fish can connect with that Pisces energy. The elephant, so elephants usually connect me in with family and ancestors and stability and groundedness and memories. Maybe there's some history here for some of you. We've got the little piggy bank with the money. Maybe there's something around money that this person's very conscious of. There's that little princess crown and the boat, the ship, which makes me think of that saying, ships in the night. So possibly you pass by this person or you two don't stop and talk or see, you don't get much time maybe to talk. Now, I'm just going to sit and bring through whatever last names or messages I get. Just keep in mind, this sometimes takes me a little while to do, so I try to cut out the silences, but um, just bear with me and I'll just, I'm getting Gavin as I'm about to start. Rebecca. I'm getting Destiny. I think it's coming through as a name. Jake, Connie, 
Sharon, Terry, Joanna, Ian. I'm getting Ireland coming through. Something about Ireland, the country. Maureen, Theo, Maria, Mari, Annalise. So I'm getting a hot air balloon and I feel like the message is saying something about you're either seeing a hot air balloon or something about a con this connection and a hot air balloon. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. That's what I have for you, Paul, too. I hope it was helpful. If it was, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button, it helps the channel hugely. I'm sending you so much love. I think um, this is such a beautiful set of cards, the way that your energy came through. Thank you so much for letting me read for you and take care till next time. Bye-bye. See you then. Okay, beautiful pile three. Let's pop your crystal there, your oracle cards here. I have had so many um, interruptions trying to get your pile done. So let's just move into it. We have got the star at the top, the two of swords, the ace of cups, the lovers in reverse, the three of swords in reverse, the emperor, and the tethered one. So the tethered one in this deck is the hanged man. So the hanged man. All right, let me just slide this one up. And let's have a look. So up the top there you have the star card. And this star card, I mean, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. That's the first thing that I'll just throw out there. But... With that star card sitting at the top here, pile three, I feel like it's speaking to this person having hope that this connection is going to go somewhere, is going to get off the ground. So not just having a crush that they're planning to, you know, just think, oh, yeah, that's a nice dream, but actually holding on to hope and I'm being very much drawn to this cup in this person's hand. And notice how underneath, I don't want to cast a shadow here, but notice the Ace of Cups sitting straight under the star card. So there could be some feelings here that this person's holding on to. And perhaps with them looking at the cup, this being the Ace of Cups, they are being very reflective perhaps of those feelings let me just sit with it for a minute it's like they're filling the cup up it's almost as if they're indulging in it they're allowing themselves maybe to connect with the feelings or to dip in to the feelings you know the way that they're using that cup almost as a scoop so with the ace of cups Sitting underneath that star card, it's like feelings that are being recognized, hope for something more, and hope here with the emperor, from the looks of it, um, I feel to bring in structure and foundation and some solidity, like something strong and that can be recognized as being very 3D, like this is a connection. This is actually happening here. So to me, with these three cards coming down the center, this could be someone who is recognizing their feelings and saying, you know what? I see that I have these feelings for pile three. 
I have this crush, but it runs deeper than just a crush that is like an attraction or a fancy for someone, as they would say um, in, in days gone by. Recognizing that it's more than that and wanting something solid to come of this. So this set of cards here makes me wonder, is there history or what is the history here? Because to have the Ace of Cups and to have some feelings and to want this, I'm feeling like there must be some kind of backstory or background because we don't usually just meet someone and suddenly have feelings. We can have attraction, but feelings usually take time. Like there's something that requires getting to know someone or having some sort of depth to a connection. So let's explore the cards that are sitting around this central pillar here. And I want to come across to this Two of Swords, okay, because the Two of Swords is really drawing me straight to it. This could be someone where the two of you are either in no contact, and I know when I say no contact, sometimes it comes to mind of two people saying, right, that's it, we're not talking. And for a few of you, it could be that. And I feel called at this point to just mention that I know a lot of people don't like when exes appear in these readings, and that's fine. You never have to take on that energy or connect with someone if you don't want to. But I'm not actually getting a heavy energy of an ex per se here. For a few of you, it could be. But what this feels like to me, this no contact that I'm getting, particularly because I'm being drawn up here um, to this, it's reminding me of like the moon and the three of swords underneath it. It feels like something where the two of you maybe couldn't get something off the ground and it just got to a point where it can't go anywhere. So what's the point? Like, where can we take it? Because of some type of probably, I know I recognise that the Three of Swords is in reverse here, but it's still appearing sitting over the Two of Swords. So probably some type of obstacle or block that made this very difficult for things to move forward. Okay, so as I'm talking, I did get the word ghosted, and I'm not saying that everyone that that's going to apply for you, but there could have even been some cases where one person just went very quiet. They could have gone very quiet, and you might be thinking, well, why would they now be thinking about me? But I just need to put out what I'm getting but so ghosted might not seem like an obstacle, but perhaps there was some sort of obstacle in their mind here. Because, of course, the moon talks about, it can talk about the mind and it can talk about stuff that's going on in the mind where we're not feeling clear or we're not really sure on direction. So there could have been something around that or there could have been things that were not out in the open about this connection. There could have been obstacles in terms of distance. This whole vibe here is giving me the feeling of two people that uh, are not connected now or have very little contact. I feel for most of you, probably this is someone that there was hope that this could get off the ground and it just didn't happen. So I'm getting a, you know, either a distance or there was a connection that someone had that they were already in. So it didn't matter if you were attracted because where could it go? That type of feeling. Now, I'll come across to this Three of Swords being in reverse in a moment. I just need to grab a drink. So in the centre here, you have this um, person who seems to me like they are reflecting on what they feel, hoping for this connection to grow, to become something. And perhaps with the Three of Swords here, in reverse, sitting over some kind of quietness that's affecting the connection, with it sitting in reverse, perhaps they are feeling like whatever obstacle was there, whatever block was there, has now fallen away or has been removed. Maybe they feel like there has been a shift or a change in this situation. 
on either side or maybe they're thinking that you know there's been time passed and perhaps pile three will be interested in something now maybe there can be another chance it feels almost like that second wind you know like can can it happen this time will it happen and <clears throat> whatever was over here it's like they're in a different uh, thinking about it differently, seeing it differently, seeing it differently either because of they have clarity, okay, or seeing it differently um, because of the circumstances. So perhaps they are feeling like they see things more clearly, they have a better idea of what they're wanting here, or for others of them, feeling like either your situation's changed, their situation's changed, circumstances maybe in terms of where each of you are has changed but i am noticing the little hand that's coming out of the cloud here and so it's almost like a hand like help may have even happened to remove one of these swords so there could have been some kind of intervention that has helped here and i'm trying to think how that may have may have impacted these circumstances i guess in terms of perhaps if someone was living somewhere and they weren't you know, they needed to get into a more stable situation. Maybe there was some help around that. And so now they feel like they're in a better situation to connect or something around that. I don't know. I'll just leave that, that little message there in case someone is relating to it or it's helpful for you. But that's what I have over here. And just moving to this side with the lovers in reverse and the tethered one. With this lover's card in reverse, I really love this deck. I feel like it speaks on so many different levels. But with this lover's card in reverse, these two cards together, this feels like someone who perhaps feels like a door was partially closed. It didn't really end for them. Like the connection still felt open. And even the imagery in this particular card, this could be someone who is feeling like the connection is still there for them. They didn't really feel closure. And I just want to touch back on that message that came through before where I said there could have even been a few of you where this person was the one who ghosted. But even if that was the case, there could be something around this person not feeling closure because the reason they ghosted was a lack of clarity or something going on in their life that they weren't transparent about. So they may have had something going on and they, instead of just saying to you, hey, this is happening, this is why you know I'm going to be quiet for a while or I can't really enter into a connection, they may have just gone quiet and that could have given you the impression that they weren't interested. And I am also getting... The message through for some of you that this is someone that you'll be quite surprised perhaps that they are going to reappear even though you could be sensing that somebody is going to resurface so you could be thinking yeah this is someone I spoke to like when they reappear I spoke to them in the past there was attraction but I thought they weren't interested or I thought that that door was closed for us because of some type of block so there could have been uh, several people since this person that you have spoken to or connected with and this person has maintained their sense of connection to you, their interest in you and yet it looked like on the surface that it just wasn't possible because there was something in the way. So let's come over to these two cards here. I feel like that's probably the best place to start. Okay, so come on, Ace of Wands, yes. So, so something didn't get off the ground is what I'm getting here. Show me why. I know that there'll be different reasons, but if we can maybe get something through here that is helpful just as a confirmation, it does seem to me like most of you would know what this is about. Yeah, look, there could even be, even though you can be listening to this reading and saying, yeah, I get that there was a situation like this. There was someone I was very interested in, but there was a block in the pathway. And maybe you're aware that there are some circumstances that have changed. But at the time, perhaps you weren't clear about why things went quiet or there was information that wasn't available to you because you've got the High Priestess there, although the High Priestess is very intuitive. Strength. Okay, <clears throat> and there's that three of swords upright. 
So it's interesting to me that it, we were asking about what went on here and it comes in upright and then here it is in reverse. So has there been a change in circumstances, perhaps around some sort of um, commitment that this person was involved in or maybe you were in that made it impossible for this connection to really go anywhere? Like there was an interest, there was a connection, the two of you had a meeting of the minds, an attraction, but it just... You know, at the time you met, there wasn't a possibility for this to blossom. And now circumstances have changed. And this person finds themselves thinking about you, wanting to reach out to you. And maybe you weren't, for some of you, um, if you did talk to this person, you were like, I'm not sure why things aren't moving ahead with us, but they had other things going on. But perhaps... The message I'm getting through here now as I'm just sitting with these cards is perhaps you weren't even aware that this person was interested in you and that there, there was something, you know. It, this is someone from your past where the two of you have spoken, but at the time the two of you or one of you was in another connection and you maybe may have intuitively felt there was a bit of a spark, but it was like you dismissed it because of circumstances. So there'll be a couple of different scenarios there. I feel for some of you, this was someone you spoke with, but there was a block. And for other, like when I say spoke with, I mean, there was some sort of interest that the two of you were showing in each other. And for others of you, this is someone you knew, but you two were invested elsewhere. Like one of you was invested elsewhere, yet this person was interested in you and thought, you know, if I were single or if I lived in that same place or if I was available, this person in pile three is exactly the sort of person I'd be interested in. And maybe time has passed and now they're feeling like, you know what, I'd really love to connect with them. But I feel for most of you, it's someone where there was a blockage, where there was something just standing in the way of the two of you being together because of the emotion, because there seems to be something here that has already developed. Okay, so I am getting through as well that there could have been something around you saying to someone, um, let me just sit with it for a minute because I want to make sure that I'm getting it through correctly. There could have been something around you saying to someone that you weren't sure if something was really um, wrapped up or tied up, you know, like was it finished with? You may have been unclear. This to me feels like someone who has something that is going on in their lives. You may have been happily involved with someone and so that couldn't get off the ground, yet this person was interested in you. And you may have known they were interested in you and they've held this flame for you for a long time and now they see you're single and they're wanting to come towards you. Or perhaps this person was in another connection or you were both in another connection. So a couple of different scenarios, but it feels like there was a block. The overriding theme is a block. The two of you, there's some sort of connection going on here, but it wasn't going to happen. And now there's been some sort of shift, some sort of change. This person could be looking at their emotions, looking at what they feel and saying, you know what? I have um, held on to these feelings for pile three for a long time. I'm recognizing them. So as I just said, I held on to them for a long time and I'm recognizing them. The recognizing bit may have only been more recent. So perhaps they have had feelings, but they were either in denial or they just didn't really want to delve into it, either because of uh, this block or their own lack of clarity up here. And so it may be recently that they have started to really consider that they would like to move towards you and just how connected they feel to you. They could have felt like this was a friendship in the past and over time this friendship developed into something where they have feelings. But this closed door to them, I feel like it hasn't really felt closed. It's like it's still ajar. They feel the connection. They still feel um, tied to you, like there's not closure for them on this. Interesting set of cards, pile three. Let's keep moving here for those that are resonating. 
community. Okay, I always pull these ones out together. Checking your social media. The time is now. So, this does feel like someone who is um, keeping an eye on what you put online if they can see your stuff. So checking your social media makes perfect sense to me. And with community, I feel like this person is a part of your broader community, even if you two don't talk. Like they can be just there, kind of on the peripheral, you know, someone that you know, but they're not particularly close to you. At one point, maybe the two of you talked more. You were closer. It does look like you were closer at some point. But I feel like they are still a part of your group, if you get what I'm saying. Not your inner group necessarily, like broader. This feels wider to me, like out on the edges and that they would like to move in closer to you, get more connected with you, make this into something, you know, the time is now, they might be feeling like the opportunity is now, which is making me feel like for many of you, this could be you who has now become available because the time is now, it's almost like I need to, to make my move whilst pole three is available or I need to make my feelings known perhaps, perhaps also with community and check your social, sorry, check, checking your social media Perhaps this person is leaving some messages on your social media or going to leave some little comments, just kind of touching base, seeing if they can open dialogue up, reconnect, break down this two of swords energy, see if they can try and build up something with you, build some foundations, lay down some um, groundwork here. So let's keep going. Queen of Fire. So what did we have? We had Gemini on the table, Aquarius. We had Aries. You or they could be Leo, any of these signs. Pisces. <clears throat> Doesn't mean you have to be. But Queen of Fire makes me feel like they see you as someone who is very desirable who is very magnetic, you could be a fire sign, but this is the sort of energy that they're seeing you in is what I'm getting here. And even the butterflies is making me think of that saying, particularly on social media, like a social butterfly, someone who connects with a lot of people perhaps, and also um, the peacocks, which always make me think of someone who's very well dressed, of someone who has a lot of flair. This can be you, but also people around you. They may feel like other people are trying to show off and get your attention. That's the other thing I'm getting through. So not just that you um, catch other people's eye, but that other people are trying to get your attention. So they may read maybe comments on your social media or see things that other people say to you somewhere and say to themselves, you know, that person's interested. I don't know if pile three is noticing, but I can tell that that person's interested in pile three. So that's why now's the time. You know, the time is now. If I'm interested in pile three, I better make a move or I better make my interest in them known. Because if I don't, maybe this person or this person or this person will. And so as I'm just sitting with this card, I'm also getting another message through that they may have seen you literally receiving some sort of gift in a online post, like holding some sort of flowers or gift. I know that this card, these cards are so beautiful with the flowers and everything around them, but I feel like there could literally be something about a post of you surrounded in flowers that just came through. This may be one that's really caught their eye, or maybe it's something that's written under it. Excuse me. See, this is what I was telling you, Pile 3. I was absolutely getting so many interruptions when I was trying to do your pile before, and I just thought this just wasn't feeling right. It wasn't feeling cohesive. And so perhaps this is one of the things that, um, because that just happened then, that was happening with this connection. Perhaps there were a lot of little things that were making this feel blocked, a little, lot of little things that were 
happening along the pathway to this connection, like the timing never seemed right. One person may have been single, then the other person was not. Or, you know, it could have been someone in your past like that, where the timing just never seemed to fall into place or the circumstances never seemed to quite fall into place. That could be a little message in itself. So I'm just going to put that through because I'm always paying attention to things that are going on around me as I'm doing the readings and even before and after the reading. So I just wanted to mention that as we're moving through here. All right, so this person definitely sees you as someone that gets a lot of attention, but also someone who others are trying to get their attention is what I'm getting. Let's keep going. Agreement. So this one reminds me of the Two of Cups. And this to me feels like trying to get on board, you know, trying to get on the same page with someone. So potentially this could be about them feeling like now's the time to see if I can connect one-on-one -on -one with pile three. Like can we catch up together whether depending on what is the thing that you two would be likely to do, like whether it's for coffee or for, you know, a meal or whatever it is or just for a chat or to hang out or however it is that this person feels like they could connect with you, this to me feels like, hey, would you like to catch up? Would you like to maybe take it over here, you know, like have a chat here? It feels like this one-on-one, -on -one, trying to get you one-on-one, -on -one, which could be connecting in with this message that we were getting up here about them feeling like there were a lot of people vying for your attention. Maybe they feel like you're very busy as well and that you have a lot going on. Someone may actually work with flowers as well, is what I'm getting. Like work in an environment where there are a lot of flowers. I know, obviously, florists work with a lot of flowers. And I'm not saying you're all florists, although some of you could be. But there could be an environment where you actually have a lot of flowers in your environment. I'm not sure why I keep coming back to that. Anyway, I'll just leave that message with you. But this to me feels like them trying to get you one-on-one, -on -one, to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, to take it to a place where the two of you have some privacy and where they feel like they can build this deeper. Maybe show you a little bit um, of this expression that they could be feeling here, you know, just let that out a bit. All right, let's have a look here. So we've got toxicity. Their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Okay. So is that something that was going on over here, perhaps pile three? Was there something about the connection where you felt like this person was maybe in some sort of connect um, group or connections that were toxic or there was something going on that you really didn't want to connect with? And do you know what I'm realizing at this point, pile three? I haven't pulled the cards on what attracts this person to you. So I want to do that in a moment, but I am getting through a couple of messages, but I'll wait till I actually pull the cards, I feel, just to go into that. So yeah, I'll just leave that one there. Let's, before we pull those last cards, let's go into what is attracting this person to you. Spirit, show me what attracts this person to pile three. So just so I'm flagging a little thing for myself, I'm getting Aquarian energy coming through. So that star card's jumping out at me for this as soon as I said that. Okay, five of pentacles. Ace of cups in reverse, four of swords. What's attracting this person to? Hmm. I'll get one more for this, please. So I know when um, I first put these cards down, I'm like five of pentacles, you know, four of swords. But to me, this gives an energy of someone who... Uh, is not afraid to face things head on. Like this gives a real energy of 
not being afraid to be very direct. I got that uh, Aquarian energy coming through. So I do feel like this person feels you're someone who marches to the beat of your own drum. I always get that with Aquarius, regardless of what your sign is. So I feel like there's someone that feels that you stand out from a crowd. You're not afraid to be different. And if everyone else is thinking one way and you feel differently, you're not afraid to voice it. Okay, so that's something that I was getting through intuitively. This set of cards here, they could be seeing you as someone who um, has been through a fair bit here. But regardless of what you have been through, I feel like they see you as someone who stands up for yourself most definitely with that Queen of Swords. But I just want to see how it ties in here. You don't hold on to things. So I don't feel like you're letting the past dictate who you are. It's like you let yourself move through things and you don't hold on to the past. You let them go. So they see you as someone who is very adaptable, very independent. There's something about your strength here that really attracts this person, pile three. And I am getting this message, like I said, that one of the main things that this person's really drawn to about you is that your your intelligence, your mind, and the fact that whatever you've been through, and they do seem to recognize you've been through quite a lot, perhaps you have been through situations where people haven't stood by your side, you've been through some kind of having to stand on your own two feet, you haven't dwelled on it, you haven't stayed, stayed stuck in it, you've been able to let go of things, to uh, rebuild and you really know yourself I feel as a result of past circumstances show me what else okay I guess that one's coming out eight of swords in reverse feels like so many of these are in reverse but I know the deck is very mixed Okay, so when you walk away from something, you walk away from it. So this person may be worried here, perhaps. I know we're asking what attracts them to you. They see you, um, pile three, as someone that won't be walked over, that's for sure. And I feel like perhaps they're a little bit worried that they're not going to be able to re-enter or that they won't have a shot at building this. Let me just have a look. So all of these cards here are really giving me a strong feeling that this person sees you as someone who has had to battle a lot. And as a result of that, is really clear about what you will, like what your boundaries are, what you will put up with, what you won't put up with, what you will hold on to and what you'll let go of. So this card here, the Seven of Wands, is like defending your own belief systems. I was getting that Aquarian energy coming through before I laid the cards out. So this is someone who maybe has had to stand on their own, but there's something here about you being prepared to fight for what you believe in. And it's interesting that these two cards came out together. It's like, I'm not going to um, walk away from the things I believe in, the things that are important to me. Let me just grab, I feel like those cards are speaking to something they have seen you move through or some kind of inner strength that they really admire in you. But let me just see if I can get something more. Wow. Okay, pile three. What is this about? Show me more. What is it that's attracting them to pile three? Okay. Okay, so they see you, Pile 3, as someone who has been able to build and create success without probably a lot of help from others, without probably a lot of support or advantage here. So you've been able, it's kind of like taking the lemons and making the lemonade. That's what this feels like to me. You're someone who's able to transform things. So 
carrying these responsibilities, you could have literally had a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. But I also get from that background of cards that you didn't get a lot of support. You haven't had a lot of help and you may have come up against a lot of obstacles yourself. For some of you, it could have even been connected to what was going on between the two of you. Maybe there was stuff going on in your life and you were like, you know what, I'm just d doing this at the moment. I don't have time for a relationship. But they have seen you without advantage, is what I, I keep getting that, uh, without advantage. They have seen you take your circumstances and turn them into something, manifest them to have success. So there's a certain degree of admiration here, I feel. Well, not just a certain degree, a lot of admiration for, first of all, for your intelligence, but also for the way that you have stood up for what you believe in, even when others around you may have said, that's not going to work, or you can't do that, or, you know, why do you think that you can go and um, be different to everyone else and have these different opinions and not follow the crowd? So there's something very individual about your energy that comes through that this person is recognizing and it's calling you back to them. So I don't know if some of you in group three, there is something that this person has witnessed you build or something they have seen you create or do with your life that they are really inspired by. But that's what this feels like to me. This feels like, wow, I'm really attracted to the spark this person has and to the way that they use their mind to, it almost feels like magician energy. I'm surprised we haven't got magician on the table here, but um, with this queen of swords to bring their thoughts and ideas to reality. But there's also without having some kind of head start without having people around them saying, here, I'll help you. Here, I'll back you up. It's like you've done it. You've just gone out there and done it. You've had this belief in yourself and not let anything stop you, even though there may have been many obstacles. So I know that, uh, you know, whenever I do these readings about what's attracting people with crushes, they're often... There's t I'm getting hair through actually as I'm saying this. I was about to say there's often a desire for people to know the physical traits that's attracting them. And I do feel this person is physical attra physically attracted to you, but I feel like their focus and what really calls them to you is there is a degree, it almost feels like um, warrior energy that's coming through here, pile three. They feel like there's this really, this power to you and this strength to you. So I really like that that i really like that actually for something that someone is seeing in you and maybe if there was toxic stuff going on either around a friendship group that they were connected with or something they were connected with maybe this is why it was i'm not going to say easy but maybe this is why you said no nah, not not going there because this is someone to me who would have their integrity this is someone with the integrity boundaries very a strong compass a strong inner compass okay so it's not about looking outwards it's about it coming from the inner um, parts of yourself so that's what I'm getting for you pile three in terms of some of the stuff that's attracting them to you I don't feel like it's all but that's what I'm getting soulmate yeah this person feels a real draw to you they feel called to you that's what I am getting here unavailable okay and compromise so as i'm laying those cards down i feel like this person is concerned about whether you are going to say yes you would like to connect with them or whether you're going to say no i'm unavailable whether i'm unavailable because i'm in another connection or i'm unavailable because i'm simply not available to you or to a connection so they're wondering if they are going to be able to get this happening, you know, and for them, they might be calling it in their mind compromise. And I almost get that, um, you know, just give it a chance. Just can we just talk that kind of feeling? And of course, it will be up to you if you want to. And yeah, it's, it's almost like they, they're sort of coming out of the woodworks. This person that maybe you feel like, why are they turning up? I wasn't really expecting this. But this person is thinking about you from what I can see, thinking about how these feelings are there and maybe how they didn't value or didn't see these qualities in you the way that they're seeing them now. So maybe that's what this um, missing clarity 
was about in the past as well. So that's what I'm getting there. Now, let me in a moment get the charms. But I just, I want to see what names are coming through. Getting Antonio. Christina. Richard. Catherine. Caitlin, Bree, Cara, Alan, Tori, Melissa. Let's get some of the charms. I feel like I've got a lot here, but anyway, let's just get what we get. So we've got the clouds. Yeah, I feel like this person's not entirely confident with this connection, like not entirely confident in coming towards you. The giraffe, you know what this long neck is making me feel like on the giraffe at the moment, that they're trying to maybe look over the fence, like trying to get information, trying to find out things. The back scratcher, maybe they'll come in with some kind of offer or something around that. Getting the word uh, spruker. Which is someone who talks about a spruker is someone who talks about um, something, right? Talks like build something up, or maybe they're trying to talk something up. Do you know the other message I'm getting through here? I feel like this person may be very attracted to your voice, pile three, and maybe some of you actually have a really beautiful voice or as singers, or in some way use your voices that this person really notices. Mm, okay, that just felt like it may have been connected to you. Number one, so that always makes me think that someone's trying to show that they are treating someone as number one, you know, putting them first. The compass there. So something about a compass or direction or showing someone your compass is right, maybe. I feel like they really like that about you, as I mentioned before. The baseball or softball. The little injection of truth. So maybe there's something that you're wanting to know about what happened. What did, what was the story here? How did that happen? The little um, thong, which I feel is about maybe coming in casual, not making it look like too too much at first. Just bring it in casually. Could even be like this pizza here. We'll put that on that let's get together kind of thing. The gnome. So gnomes, I always think of the underground and like doing things like the work that needs to be done. I always think of the garden when I think of the gnomes, like I wish the gnomes would come and do the work in the garden. So it's like doing the background work. Maybe they have been looking through your social media, trying to see if you're available or trying just to check out what's going on with you, what whether you'd be interested. The little fish, so could have that connection to Pisces or intuition. I did mention earlier in the reading that I felt some of you, and look the owl next to it too, some of you may be getting a sense that someone is going to resurface, although you may not know exactly who. The key, let's think of the key to the heart, jackpot. Yeah, this person's recognising the value, I feel, that you brought to the table or bring to the table. Look at that, and there's that crown right with it. Oops, and there's the passport. So some sort of connection to travel overseas maybe that's what this message was about the obstacle maybe it was distance maybe you two met while you were traveling or overseas that maybe someone was about to go overseas there could be something around that that's what i have for you pile three i hope it was helpful i am glad that we only got one interruption with that phone ringing in that um reading because I was getting um, so many before and I was thinking what on earth is going on with pile three anyway I hope it helped if it was helpful please do me a favor and hit that like button it helps the channel so much I'm sending you heaps and heaps of love and take care see you pile three